Um, first of all, I want to apologize. Well, I want to point out that my other half isn't here. Um, I am at the hotel now. Two, it's two, been two weeks since we um, went home. But I'm still, if you can believe it, moving stuff out. So that's why, you know, I'm kind of here by myself. Um, I want to apologize, first of all, for the lack of posting. We just got slammed um, by the moving and um, extra stuff about the house. And, you know, uh, any of you guys that have moved know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, my advice would be don't. Um, it, it, you know, it's been it's been it's been a little crazy, but in a good way. And the next few videos um, that we're going to post are all kinds of fun um, with home. Um, we have a tour for you guys. We have a, a longer video of Dan's first um, site of you know of everything of the whole house. Uh, funny story about the lift. All kinds of stuff. Um, but. You know, I'm here now by myself and it's so quiet. And I wanted to share with you guys some things that Dan and I learned about home from this experience. Every, you know, every everybody's different. And we had had a catastrophe and it felt like we were losing everything at once. You know, not only some of Dan's physical abilities, um, but kind of our home, uh, some of our friends, you know, who have a hard time coping um, with what's going on. It felt like we were losing it all at once. And I am so very grateful to our families um, and to people that stuck with us from the beginning. Um, that is so appreciated. And in many ways that is home, right? Um, Dan and I have always felt that home is where we both were. So we, we tried to hang on to that, but a little bit this felt different. Um, we weren't there by choice or, you know, and like I said, it was so fast. You know, even though it, to, it took us, um, it was about 14 months before we came to the hotel, um, during which Dan did 11 months of inpatient rehab. And you guys know all, all those stories, a couple months in the hospital. Um, and, you know, through it all, we, we clung to this idea that if we were both there, you know, we were home. And if we couldn't have gone home, we would have stuck with that, that idea. Um, and, and in many ways, it's true. Um, and we had a great time here at the hotel um, some of the time. One of the reasons that it's so weird to be here and have it be so quiet is that Dan has a nurse and an aide with him around the clock. So there were always people coming and going. At Chip Change, there would be six, eight, nine people here in the room, which was very small um, and very loud sometimes, but loud in a friendly way, right? So there, there are many, many good memories, places that we went while we were here, um, things, you know, things that we did, um, progress that Dan made in outpatient rehab once we got to the hotel. You know, we had some wonderful times. And then you look back and you think, well, you know, there was some complexity as well. Um, while we were here, my mother passed away. Um, Dan was rushed to the hospital several times from here. So, you know, it wasn't all festive fun. And, and honestly, it's probably not all gonna be festive fun at home. We're still gonna have some of these challenges, but home is different. Um, I put in the description a quote from a letter I wrote uh, to someone about when we were, I don't know how to say this in the proper legal manner, but we had to fight to get home in, in some ways. Um, and we had to stick out a whole bunch of really preposterous ideas of what we should do that were given to us by other medical professionals, insurance companies, all kinds of folks. Um, but the, you know, our home has all those memories. Uh, we brought three kids home to, to our house. We um, lost Dan's parents 
from our house. And all the memories in between, you know, being the house in the neighborhood where all the kids hung out. Um, having so many plants, and this is a point of contention with uh, the borough that we live in, having so many plants that our kids' friends called our house Narnia, so you can imagine. Um, getting hauled into court once um, because the borough didn't like, you know, our style of planting. Um, I had two careers in that house. Dan had two careers from that house. So there's an attachment there for us because of the way we were um, transplanted from it that that might be a little more than, than what is going on. So, you know, I've been thinking about that, that as we've been home. And we have the same wonderful uh, nurses and aides. They're all happy to be home. They're not falling over each other quite as much as they were here, which has got to be a relief. Um, we have more room to store things. Also, you know, a great relief to those guys. And those guys were fabulous through the moving process. Uh, they're fabulous all the time, truthfully. But they have been fabulous. Um, the staff at the hotel, who we came uh, to know as friends, um, have been wonderful. They've extended some time for me to get the stuff out. And, and a million small courtesies that kind of made our day many times. Um, so, I don't know exactly what the point was, but th this idea of home, we may talk about again later after we've been in the house for a while. And you know, what home can mean? Um, we have been so fortunate. We've been married for 37 years. Um, we've been in the house for 35-ish, no, 34, I'm sorry. Um, and ha you know, having anchors in there, having had, you know, we volunteered in the community. Um, we both volunteered for our schools, which were, especially in my case, in Camden, very close to our community. Um, we just threw down deep roots, and I don't think we realized how deep until we didn't have them anymore, right? Um, we had them the whole time, but there was a, at least a year and a half of the three years we've been here at the hotel that we weren't sure we were coming home. Um, and, and if anything gives you a sharp appreciation for what home means and what family history means and personal history, it's that, you know, this idea that, well, you know, I can't say most of the stuff. Um, we were told at various times our house wasn't worth putting the renovations to that, um, you know, all kinds of awful stuff in the beginning. And, and thinking that we might not go home um, made us appreciate it even more, I guess, more than, more than most who are, you know, I don't know, I'm, I've become incoherent, so I'm gonna stop. Um, after this, all the videos are fun and festive. Um, Dan is doing fabulously. He's adjusted wonderfully. I'm adjusting. Um, the staff, I think, are very happy with the new new location, additional space. Um, some of them are closer to home now, um, coming to our house versus coming to Mount Laurel to the hotel. So it's all good from here on in. Um, but I did want to share that with you because we've been talking about it the whole time, Dan and I. So, thank you all for your support while we were here. Um, I'm going to pick up the rest of this junk and take it out uh, to the...